Do you guys ever remember going to an after school when you were little? If you didn't go to one, consider yourself mad lucky because it was absolutely horrible. Total dung shit. I'm not saying all of the after schools I went to were bad, but on the most part, yeah. No, it wasn't a school made program. Those were actually all right. There were plenty of activities to do and the kids were nice. Also, there was a total of one hour studying time and it really wasn't that bad because it was free. While on the other hand, this place was more like a self-funded private institution and a pretty shady one at that. And I remember wondering why it was so expensive and that my parents were nuts for paying for this kind of service. But for most of us that went, we actually had no choice but to go because our parents were at work and not at home to take care of us. Anyways, you probably see in the brochures those pictures of those smiling, cheery ass kids having fun with activities such as camping trips, playing at the park, swimming, etc. And then you'd be super stoked to start going there. But you'd wonder how much those kids got paid to smile. After a week of going there, I was like, okay, it's only been a week. Maybe I should give them another chance. Because to be fairly honest, I really didn't enjoy it so far. But after a month, I was thinking, is this a scam? Because most of the time, we were looking at a packet with a bunch of problems that were a few grades ahead of us. Aren't us kids supposed to go outside and exercise or something? Nope, they couldn't give two shits about that. You know what they fed us most of the time for lunch? Yup, goddamn cereal. We got our meals of the day mixed up or what? I see your scammer asses. You know, occasionally they would feed us some frozen crap that could be fried in five minutes. I shouldn't really be complaining though because we ate it all anyways. But did we really have a choice? Technically, yeah, but our lifespan's been cut short by a few years. Yippee. Moving on to the punishments. We got punished for getting wrong answers or even not knowing the answer to the homework problems. Are you kidding me? I'm not talking about just sit in the corner type of punishments. No. I wish we had that though. I'm talking about making these kids fear for their lives. So I remember this kid, he wasn't really a math whiz, and he got a few questions wrong. My quote unquote teacher immediately got pissed and put him in the invisible chair position for about 25 minutes in front of the class. Honestly, anything more than three minutes in that position could have been considered torture. I remember he was screaming like crazy and she was just sitting there and going back to using her phone. And yeah, during the whole class time, she would either be using her phone or her laptop. Living the life. Um, are we just gonna ignore this? Is that what it is? Listen miss, I can't concentrate knowing that there's a kid behind me about to piss his pants while dying at the same time. So you should let him go now. You fool. What have you done? What have I done? Well, you're a pretty sadistic one, aren't you? She was that petty kind of teacher. You talk back to her, you playfully respond to her, or if she thinks you're testing her, you done. You finished. Game over. In total, we sat there for about four hours a day and got a 15 minute break over all of that. It really sucked. I wonder if that kind of stress is what made the kids such bullies. When they tried to make me one of their victims, I actually beat them up. Guy or girl, it didn't matter. You try to torment me or my friends, you are getting that pounding instead. There was this one occasion where there was a holiday and our after school decided to go hiking up on a mountain together. And I clearly remember these older girls purposely making me go through poison ivy to get some berries for them. I didn't know what poison ivies were, I didn't know what they looked like. They were laughing at me back then, but I luckily was careful while going through it. Because of simple instincts telling me that there was something wrong with their baboon asses laughing throughout the whole duration. Especially since there was nothing really that funny about picking berries. Really though, how much more scumbaggy can you get? If I knew their intentions, I probably would have rubbed the berries on the poison ivy secretly and given it to them. There was also this one moment I remember where this kid was running and playing tag, and then he ended up falling into the lake where it seemed like he was on the verge of drowning and guess what everyone did yep they just laughed at him until that one awesome adult came to his rescue one of those particular people i could stand in the after school also he taught his trumpet which made him 1000 times more awesome and because of those incidents and a few others i won't mention here i was literally just begging my parents to get me out of there to let me sign up for these school programs instead as soon as they announced it and they accepted the deal mostly because it was free and yeah Best decision ever. 